Bearded Science Guy here, and today we're going to do a carbon snake experiment using baking soda and powdered sugar. For this experiment, you'll need a metal baking pan, a pot lid, thermal gloves, a fire extinguisher, sand, powdered sugar, baking soda, a glass container, Coleman's lantern fuel, and a lighter. To start with, measure out 5 grams of baking soda and 20 grams of powdered sugar. Really, any 1 to 4 ratio will work. Now take these and mix them really well. I did it in a freezer bag just to make it easier. Now take the metal pan and put a large mound of sand right in the center. When measuring out 150 milliliters of Coleman's lantern fuel, let's go over some safety involved. Always use a secondary glass container when working with flammable liquids. And keep your primary container far away from any source of heat or ignition. If something happens and your secondary container catches fire, you can easily put it out by smothering it with the pot lid. However, if the primary container catches fire, it can melt creating a huge fire and injuring people close to it. At this point, pour your Coleman's lantern fuel onto the mound of sand, and then place the sugar baking soda mixture in the very center of the mound. Double check that you have your fire extinguisher close, and then light the fuel. You'll start to see the white powder turn black, and then after a few minutes, it'll start to grow taller and taller. The way this works is that as the baking soda and sugar decompose, carbon dioxide gas gets trapped inside pockets of the black carbon, and it continues to grow taller and taller and taller. Many of the experimental procedures you find online say that you can use 91% isopropyl alcohol for this experiment. I, however, wasn't able to get the 91% isopropyl alcohol to create a long snake. It might have something to do with the type of sand I was using or the humidity in the air. Thanks for watching Bearded Science Guy. If you enjoyed this video, share it with friends, and don't forget to check out some of our other science videos on Facebook and YouTube.